Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nights and I have a sales update video for you. So this one was full of surprises for me. There are definitely some items in here that I was not expecting would sell for what they did. Um, so I'm kind of excited to show those to you. Um, but I'll take you through Etsy, Poshmark and eBay. eBay is the majority of this one because that's just what's been doing the best for me recently, which is cool. Um, yeah, I'll take you through and I'll let you know where I picked them up and what I paid for them and of course what they sold for. And as I always mention, I very rarely do free shipping. So unless I say otherwise, everything here is the buyer paying shipping. So here we go. Uh, one Etsy sale in the last two weeks. Etsy, I just haven't been paying mind to it. I haven't really been listing and cross posting and things. However, I did a few days ago decide to cross post like two or three items and then boom, I got a sale. So who knows? Um, but I sold this vintage Miami Dolphins um, puffer jacket from the 90s. I picked this up for about a dollar eighty. I think it worked out on average at this yard sale, um, which, by the way, will be coming in a video in the next few weeks. And it was one of the best yard sales I've ever been to in terms of it was as far as the eye could see, and you just had to dig through it. Those are my favorite kinds, full of vintage goodies, and this is one of the things I found. So this sold for fifty nine ninety five plus shipping on Etsy. Okay, next, everyone, Poshmark. Um, some of these are smaller sales, some of them are bigger sales. I like to show you a nice cross section of what is selling for me right now. So we have a sort of nondescript Halloween cheerleader little girl's costume. Uh, paid about $3.30 for this uh, when all was said and done. Um, and it sold for 17 pretty darn quickly in just a couple of days. Um, Loft Plus. I didn't realize this was um, like a specific line to Loft, but this one was a size 20 and it's a specific plus size line. Um, beautiful kind of like rainbow past L color knit and this sold for $20 which is actually pretty good in terms of um, like a loft sale I don't usually sell them for that much um, another costume this cost me all of 25 cents at a yard sale sold in a couple of days of course it is the season we're in Halloween week here now uh, it was just a genie costume basically and it sold for 16 not bad for 25 cents um, Vintage LL Bean plaid flannel lined mom jeans. These do pretty well for me. They're not fast sellers by any means, but they do go in that 25 to 30, $35 range in my experience. Um, and I always look for those ones where you flip the cuff and they are sort of like fleece or plaid inside because they're absolutely perfect for the winter season. Uh, Lucky Brand Black Leather Wedge Booties. These were a pickup from a rummage sale, which actually that video is coming up next in a couple of days, so stay tuned. Oh, actually, no, When I by the time I've recorded this, it would have already been up. I don't know where I am anymore. Anyway, it would have been a recent one, um, and it was a rummage sale. I paid $3 for these boots, and they sold for $40 within a week. Not too bad at all, and they were pre-owned. They just came with the original box. Uh, J. Crew Purple Women's Boyfriend Button-Up Shirt. Nice and simple. Paid $0.25 cents for this at um, a little local thrift store where they were doing all of the clothes for a quarter um, and it sold for 25 and it was actually quite a popular item lots and lots of likes on that uh, same with this one these sold within a week keen sort of um, hiking shoes or hiking boots tended to sit for me I thought but these ones for whatever reason went really quickly um, they were the Voyager leather lace-up hiking boots and I paid $2 at a yard sale for these and they sold for $25, like I said, within a week. Um, Soma, just thought this was a really pretty maxi dress. I really like that crochet detail there at the bust. And um, paid $2 at a thrift store and it sold for $20. Even though we're in October, maxi dress is still selling. What can I say? Um, Maeve by Anthropology green and white polka dot button up shirt. This ended up being about $2.81 when all was said and done from this particular sale. This was my upscale yard sale that I went to, bought loads of clothes and shoes there. Um, and this sold in just a couple of days for $18. Uh, this Dunian book was featured in one of my recent yard sale videos um, where I talk about finding a brand new, like newer tags designer handbag which blows my mind that originally was $248. I spent $40 on this at a yard sale, which I usually do not pay up that much, but it sold in two weeks for $120 on a best offer. I was asking $170, someone offered $120. And when all was said and done, after I look at my cost of goods, my $40, and then I look at the 20% fees for selling on Poshmark, I still made a profit of $56 on this item. I was happy with that. I was okay with that. It was in line with comps, lower end maybe, but in line with them I'm happy to get my money and pass it along and not sort of have to store it for too long so $56 profit is not too bad 
Um, and then these North Face boots, again, they ended up being about $2.80 or so. Um, this was the same sale as the Maeve polka dot shirt I just showed you, and they sold for 30 again within a week. So some nice fast flips there. Okay, and on to eBay. Uh, so this vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lot, I've had this for a while now and I've played around with it trying to figure out what I had, like doing lots of research. I paid $2 for everything you see in that photo. It was all stuffed in the backpack at a yard sale. Um, I didn't even know what I was grabbing. My husband literally called me from the car and was like, look under the table, there's a backpack it's old it's turtles grab it so I did and I think he did that because he wanted to know what was inside I don't think it was necessarily a sales strategy I could be wrong um but I decided when all was said and done to just kind of lot it up and sell it I did some research to make sure I didn't have any valuable pieces because some of these pieces I'm sure many of you know um can go for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars I didn't have any of those in there however I did start it at auction and played around with the price for a good month to two months just to make sure I wasn't going to be leaving money on the table table eventually I got a best offer of $65 for this and I decided to take it again a $2 investment so I don't mind at all uh, LL Bean dark grey herringbone tweed sil wool and silk blend blazer not what I would have imagined from LL Bean but uh, this one sold for $30 on a best offer and it has been sat for a while a good year or so um, so I was happy to go ahead and move that along okay this is from a recent video as well I actually paid I thought I was going to be paying $10 for this item and then when I went to go pay she told me that everything was half price or he did um, so I paid 5 I wish I'd grabbed all of the Department 56 items had I known they were half price, but there we go, you live, you learn. Um, someone beat me to it basically while I was paying for this. But I did get this one for $5 um, and unfortunately it did have a chip. I kind of ummed and ahmed about whether or not to actually buy it because of the chip. You can see it there. It's actually not super crazy noticeable um, because it was towards the back. You couldn't really, really see it. Um, you can kind of see in this photo here. It wasn't obvious basically, but when you flipped it upside down, it was. Um, initially I thought like after looking at comps that I was just going to list it for $40 but then I figured I might as well list it auction and just see what happens so I listed it at $39.99 on auction for seven days and it just kind of blew up you can see here 33 bids the winning bid was at $107.50 plus shipping um, and they paid right away and it's going out the door today so I was really really happy with that $5 flip right there something about Starbucks and Department 56 <laughs> apparently works and it was technically vintage it was retired from 1995 um, some of them go as high as 200 I think but with the damage on mine I was very happy to get over $100 for it all right, um, this was a pickup at a recent rummage set, well, like a rummage slash multifamily yard sale, I know they like to call them. Um, anyway, I grabbed it because all of the insides of it were unused and sealed. All the cards were sealed, none of the figures and stuff had been popped out. Um, and I paid $2 for this particular game and it sold in like a day for $24.99. So uh, plus shipping, so again, a nice fast flip there. Uh, a Sony Walkman, you can see the model number here. I tested it, it's working just fine. Um, and it sold in a day as well for $29.99. And I think I ended up paying about $1.80 for this, sort of as an average cost of goods. All right, scrubbing bubbles, what a fail. So I bought these at a thrift store thinking that I was like finding this scrubbing bubbles holy grail, which evidently these were not. Um, anyway, someone did send me best offer eventually of $20. I've had them for a good year. I think they're just the generic scrubbing bubbles that you can buy. I don't know, no one's been interested anyway. So I made a little bit of money. They've gone out the door, that's fine, but definitely not quite what some people talk about. You know, you can go onto eBay and look at comps at scrubbing bubbles and go uh, sort it highest to lowest um, price-wise. And there's some that go for a lot of money. These were just not the ones. Um, okay, American Girl Retired Music Performance Case, Gabriella's. Um, this sold in under a week as well of being listed. And I took a best offer for this one of $19 so not too bad nice quick flip now I do think I paid about five for this I bought several different pieces however I got some pieces at this yard sale this is the one where I got the Keurig which I'll show you at the end um, and I got a little Einstein's toy that I paid three dollars for and sold for a hundred so there was enough in each of the items that I could pay up for a few um, in order to make plenty of profit but yeah five dollars probably was a little high to flip for 19 but that's fine 
Okay, brand new in the pack, vintage Quaker lace tablecloth. These can do really, really well. Quaker lace specifically. Uh, some of them sell for a lot. So I'd listed it fairly high just because I wasn't too sure what I had. I got an offer about a week later for 45 and I decided to take it because that was still in line with comps. They were kind of all over the place and I was happy with that. And I paid $7 at a yard sale. And like I said, less than a week and it was sold. All right, these were a shocker to me. So I got these at a little rummage sale um, for a dollar. It was just on the dollar table. They were free people jeans, as you can see, massive like flared bell bottom style. I looked them up, find out their name, the patchwork Bali, but uh, I guess it's Bali uh, jeans. Um, and they sold in a week as well for the full asking price of $99.99 plus shipping. Some free people pieces can do really, really well. And some pieces can sit forever. These just happen to be one of the ones that did really well. I had a feeling when I picked them up, I would have picked them up for a dollar regardless because free people for a dollar but I was really happy with that particular sale um okay miss me sequin embellished dark wash jeans um someone helped me with the keywords the pattern that's on the pocket I could not for the life of me think what keyword I should use for that I still haven't come up with it so if you know please let me know down in the comments because my mind just went completely blank anyway they sold for the full asking price of 47.99 and these were actually part of a lot of five pairs yeah, five pairs of Miss Me jeans that I bought for a total of $35. So I've made all of my money back on this one pair here and I'll sell the other four for hopefully a similar price range, if not like 35 to 45, and that will all be pure profit from there for me as well, which is great. All right, Eddie Bauer, this was from the same little sale that I found the uh, Free People jeans that I just showed you. Um, I picked it up because the colors were really vivid. Eddie Bauer does fine, and it was a size 2XL, and they sold this sold for the full asking price of $19.99 in about three days of being listed. Again, there's a common theme here of lots of fast flips. I don't know why. I don't pretend to know why. Some things sit forever, and some things sell really quickly. And I like to give you an example of both in these sold videos. Um, okay, this sold within like 10 minutes of being listed. Or actually, I should say I got an offer within 10 minutes of being listed. I paid, I want to say $1.80 for this again when all was said and done. This was the same sale that I got the jacket I showed you right at the beginning, the Miami Dolphins. Um, and I went back and checked my comps again one more time just to be vigilant before accepting. This is right in line with the comp. Someone sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping, so I went ahead and took it because I am, of course, selling this untested. I don't always test my electronics, especially things like vintage Polaroids. I just don't really have the means to, um, so I take a lesser price, which I know some people would, oh, whatever. But um, yeah, that's just the way I choose to do it. So fast flips and all that. Um, okay, Brighton embroidered leather tassel tote. Paid $5 for this and accepted a best offer, a very random best offer of $36.55. Very happy to do so. Listed for about three weeks. All right, next is the most random sale of the last few days. Um, I picked this up for 25 cents at a yard sale, just because really, because I thought the graphics were cool. I don't know. Um, paid 25 cents and it sold for 8.99 plus shipping. So there you go, just a vintage, no name brand hair bonnet. Who knows? Things sell, what can I say? God bless eBay. Um, next is a pair of Paige Skyline skinny denim jeans. I want to say that this was one of those things that somebody so kindly gifted to me when the great unpleasantness of 2020 began and I had run just about um, out of inventory. Uh, several people very kindly sent me some inventory and I think this was one of those items and they sell for $39.99 so the blessings just kind of keep rolling in with those. I thank them in my head every single time one of those things sell. It just means the world to me. Um, new with tags, J. Crew Olive skinny stretch pants. These were from a recent haul, paid $2 at a yard sale. Actually didn't realize they were new with tags until I got home, which is always nice. Um, and they sold for a best offer of $27. Okay, Athleta Swagger Skirt. Um, this one I got for $2 at a yard sale. It was, I didn't have the size in it, so I estimated extra large, put all my measurements in. Um, and this one sold for a best offer of 30. Definitely a decent athletic piece to keep your eyes open for. Oh, 
just thinking about it. Okay, um, new, so new and sealed. I grabbed this for like 25 cents at a rummage sale. Um, it's just like a walk at home fitness DVD that came with the band. Like I said, all new and sealed, sold for full asking price of 19.99. there. Some of them can do really well. And these Converse high tops, uh, this was a find at a yard sale where almost everything felt like it was a bit too much for me to pay. And then I stumbled across these and I thought they were awesome with all the studs and stuff. Um, and they only wanted $2 for these. So someone offered me 25 and I took that, but definitely sometimes at those yard sales, you can still find bargains. You just have to look a little harder if you know what I mean. Um, these were a surprise to me as well. Uh, vintage Oshkosh Bagosh Bold Floral Corduroy Bib Overall. So I knew that the vintage Oshkosh uh, overalls, like they're like toddler size, could do well. Let me tell you, these like floral corduroy ones, the ones with the really, really bold prints can do really, really well. Like we're talking hundred dollars, maybe more. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of 53 on these just because I went back and forth with a person. And quite frankly, I paid 25 cents for them. I'm happy to sell them for $53. Uh, $53 that's what it was. Um, but yes, keep your eyes peeled for those. They say made in the USA on the, on the inside and they can do really well. And by the way, they sold the same day as being listed. Um, Sorel men's boots, like leather boots, and um, they sold for 35. I paid seven for those at a yard sale. We're almost there. Thank you for hanging in there. And um, this was a surprise to me as well. Vintage Zoom Hello from Seattle MP3 player paid two dollars at a yard sale and it sold for 28 completely untested um, in about a day or two of being listed. Sorry for the pop ups. Okay. All right, next thing, completely random. This is an example of buying something that you know nothing about. I paid $5 at a yard sale for this, mostly because I found it, it was five bucks. I flipped it over, I took the model number, plugged it into eBay. It looked like it was doing okay. I hoped to get 30 untested. I took a best offer of 25 plus shipping. So, you know, not a huge amount of profit, $5 into 25, but sure, certainly not too bad. Already have positive feedback happy enough with that so you don't have to know everything about everything to sell it that's what i always say you know just be able to look up a model number sometimes <laughs> Um, okay, new with tags. I have no idea what this brand was necessarily. I grabbed it because the style was cute and it was new with tags. And I think that this one was 25 cents. Um, so I figured why not grab it? And it was made in Italy as well. And it sold for the full asking price of $27.99, which is not too bad at all. Um, the next pants that are about to pop up, I got those from the same yard sale that I got the brand new Dooney and Burke that sold for 120 um, And these ones here sold for $20. I paid a dollar for them. They were brand new with tags, as you can see, and took a best offer of 20 within a week as well. And then the very last thing I have to show you is an item I picked up at the same sale as the American Girl stuff that I just showed you over there. Um, and if it'll ever pop up, you can see it's like overwhelmed right now with all of the windows of the things of me trying to show you. Um, but it was the Keurig machine and it was one that's retired. It made like cappuccinos and um, I don't know, something else as well. They, it was completely new in the box, completely like unused. Um, and she was asking $35 for it, um, which I kind of ummed and ahed because I don't always spend that much on things like I kind of said with the Dooney as well but again brand new in the box um, I looked it up I thought I could get sort of 200 for it or so and I decided um, I had a few different offers that came in under you can see I priced it really high here I was really shooting for the moon hoping for 200 250 I went back and forth with a lot of different people of course the shipping was quite expensive um, but I ended up settling for $180 plus shipping so I went ahead and worked it out to let you know as well that after my cost of goods and an assumed um, fees of like 20%, that is $109 profit and it was listed for about a month. So again, not too bad at all. And deep breaths. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. Anyone who hung in this far, thank you so much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please do think about hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up and coming back and hanging out some more. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.